The next step is I'm getting ready to get up into the attic and there's the exhaust fan I'm going to look for up there, figure out what needs to be done up there so I can patch that hole. I've got to disconnect that. And I'm also going to look and see where these wires go, where they come from on the junction box because I'm going to have to remove that. And I'm going to look around for this light fixture too. I'm also going to see and take note of where the light switch is coming up. I'm going to acclimate, acclimate myself in the hallway to where the the crawl hole is and kind of get my bearings so when I get up into the attic I know which way which direction to go I'm gonna be down this way so when I get up in the attic I'm gonna kind of look and I know I need to go this way here's the attic hole so I'm gonna have to get out of that and sometimes you might think oh I know exactly where to go and you get up there and you think now how far is it and all that you kind of have can walk it off or measure it and kind of visualize which direction you need to go and off to the left and you're gonna look for a junction box up there in the ceiling and all that kind of stuff okay so yeah. so this is the direction I want to go so I'm ready to get up into the ceiling and my uncle he went to the store and he got me this cool little flashlight thing it's just on a on a, a little thing here let's see Get my hat on here. It's just this thing right here. I just put it on. And that's going to shine light on there. It's pretty bright too. And um, it's even got something here if you're bike riding or something like that. You can have that. Okay. But um, for my case, you see it's got a head here and it, and it swivels down. Um, let's see. Where's the light? Here it is. It swivels down so you can see exactly where you're going and, and stuff like that. If you're working down here with your hands, whatever, you can kind of angle that. Well, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to use that and it's going to make it a little bit easier. That way I don't have to carry a flashlight around with me or a drop light or anything like that. You've got to get one of these. So I've got my goggles here, I've got my flashlight, I've got my, my hat on here to protect me. I've got gloves on. What's, uh, I've also got a little uh, back brace on here. What am I missing? Well, if I had a bandana, I'd tie that around here. And I probably should have a long sleeve shirt on. I don't have one. I'm going to see if my uncle has an old one. If he doesn't, I'll just use my my t-shirt but it's always a good idea to get yourself prepared before you go up in an attic you turning that on yeah you know what i did forget one more thing the trusty dust mask and i had one i was going to use this was a brand new one and the string pulled off and luckily for me i saved my old one so dust masks really come in handy especially when you're up in the attic Okay, don't forget.